pyrolytic graphite, henceforward PG, is currently the most diamagnetic material available. This video concentrates on different levitation setups that can be achieved by utilizing the eminent diamagnetism of PG. Even the most diamagnetic material repels both poles of strong neodymium magnet just very weakly. So when attempting diamagnetic levitation, it is important that the grade of neodymium magnets are as high as possible, preferably in 48 or higher. A thin piece of pyrolytic graphite will levitate on its own over a magnetic array. Most of the lift comes from the edges where north and south poles make contact. The diamagnetic repulsion is able to overpower the weight of PG and the flux density keeps it from falling if the piece is of right size in relation to the magnetic array. This effect can also be used to create a tract where graphite can follow. When two magnetic arrays are placed in close proximity, a piece of graphite is able to levitate between the arrays in all angles. Marvelous. It is possible to levitate small neodymium magnets over PG, but only when other magnets is placed above at a specific height, when most of the magnet's mass is compensated by attracting magnet above, the remaining mass can be pushed up by diamagnetic repulsion. Multiple small magnets can be levitated at the same time. The magnets are simultaneously attracted by magnet above and repelled by each other. This can be done also in horizontal axis. The diamagnetic repulsion of PG is too weak in order for big magnets to be suspended in air. It is achievable to levitate surprisingly heavy loads by suspending a whole magnetic array over PG. An array with multiple north and south poles facing PG is able to provide a great deal more lift compared to a single magnet. Here's fully levitated magnet array that weights 780 grams. This array is constructed out of 5 mm cube magnets. North and south poles of the cubes are arranged into checkerboard pattern. Every other cube is repelling the top magnet, but when a strong attracting magnet is attached on top of the array, the repulsion is overpowered with attraction. Combining Diamagnetic suspension and opposition levitation leads into interesting applications. Here's an example of a double layer levitation. Even a triple layer levitation is possible utilizing only diamagnetism. Phenomenal. Here's how you can achieve an exceptionally large levitation gap. In this video made by Laser Saber, we can see the thin piece of PG being pushed up by strong magnetic field of the magnetic array below, while the small magnet at the end of the light rod is attracted by the magnet above. Here's how two levitating magnetic arrays can affect each other interdependently, which results into coupled oscillations. The levitating magnetic arrays take turns oscillating. You can do this even on a smaller PG tile. Small cube magnets in a checkerboard pattern repel each other only lightly and therefore fit in small space. Spectacular! PG can be moved easily with static electricity. To create a static charge, you can, for example, rub a PVC pipe against piece of a cloth. Wonderful! Once a magnet is levitating, it is quite easy to make it spin with a battery and a couple of wires. A regular AA battery will do the trick easily. Very thin pieces of PG can't be moved around with a strong enough laser light. Thank you to Magnetic Games for these magical shots. Marvelous. Thank you for watching.